Hello from Axiom Space Mission Control in Houston, Texas. I'm Sonia Gavan McKay. Today is flight day three, and this is our first mission update of the Axiom Mission 2 currently underway on the International Space Station. This mission is a four-person multinational endeavor with 10 days in space and eight of those docked to the ISS. Let's introduce you to our crew. The AX-2 mission is led by legendary U.S. astronaut Peggy Whitson. This is her fourth mission to space as she is actively extending the American record for the most time spent off-planet. The pilot is John Schaffner, a STEAM education advocate, business pioneer, and lifelong space enthusiast. John has over 8,500 flying hours in a variety of single and multi-engine aircraft. From the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, our mission specialists are Saudi national astronauts Ali Al Karni and Rayana Barnawi. They represent the first class of Saudi astronauts and together are accomplishing many historical moments. For this crew, the first day on station included the transfer of cold storage units containing life science payloads onto the space station, setting up their sleep stations and familiarizing themselves with the orbiting laboratory. Today, the AX-2 crew jumped right into their tasks. They completed handover activities with the ISS expedition crew ahead of schedule and finished transferring equipment and cargo out of the Dragon spacecraft. Ali and Rihanna started the NanoRex Liquid Fireworks payload and performed a test run before their event with students later on this week. The whole crew reviewed ISS emergency roles and responsibilities and received onboard training to make sure all 11 crew members on the ISS are able to execute emergency procedures as a team. With today's first mission update, we wanted to share with you some highlights of their journey to the International Space Station. With me now is Flight Operations Engineer Jerry Matthew. Jerry, you are one of the lead axles. Let's start with what does that mean? So the lead axle stands for Axiom Operations Lead, and so the axle position is in charge of the entire flight controller team from the Axiom side. And so we are uh, making sure that the crew is executing the timeline, that we're supporting the crew in everything that they want to do, and we accomplish all the mission objectives by working with the entire team to make sure that uh, uh, we capture everything. Because they only have 10 days to get everything done, right? You have to keep them on task, keep them on schedule. That's right. 10 days uh, on orbit and then uh, eight days on the ISS. So we got a full... Uh, a plan of activities for them to do, both the research and uh, for uh, media outreach. And so we want to make sure that uh, everything gets accomplished and every single second, every minute of their time is actually scheduled uh, before the mission. So we do a lot of work to schedule it. And then during the mission, we make sure we actually execute it. Well, tell me about this room. This is MCCA. And tell me about the people who are inside it. 
sure. So this is our mission control center here at Acton Space Headquarters. This is a brand new room that we're executing out of for the AX2 mission, um, and we are extremely proud of it. Uh, for AX1, we supported out of JSC, mm -hmm. and for AX2, we actually uh, built this out. And so what's cool about this room is it's been certified as a uh, mission control center because we have a live connection to JSC that allows us to pass video, audio, and data uh, to and from, and that gets up to the ISS. So there's a direct connection between NASA, this room, and the ISS. That's correct, yeah. We can see what all the crew is doing uh, live for, through all the video feeds. We can talk to them. Our, our axles have actually talked to the crew while on, they're on the ISS. And then we also get data and telemetry that, that's relevant to the mission itself. So we have the full suit of, uh, suite of capabilities, and we are using that to support the mission. Now, the reason we're being let in right now, or the reason I'm being let in right now, is because the astronauts are resting and, and sleeping right now, right? That's right. So they, they go, um, they're on the GMT clock. So mm -hmm. right now there is actually their uh, sleep time. So they should be in bed getting some rest and hopefully uh, being ready uh, for the uh, day tomorrow. Okay. What should we know about what makes this room special and what will be happening in this room over the next eight to ten days? So in this room, we have the accident flight controller team, and every person here basically supports different aspects of the, of the um, job. Right? And so all the responsibilities include anything from, you know, uh, supporting uh, the timeline itself, making sure that everything is scheduled and it being executed. We also have uh, um, flight controllers that support payload research, and so they're making sure that everything that the X2 crew has signed up to execute on orbit on orbit is being executed. We support from the ground, make sure all the signs and data collection is good, going well, and then we also have um, um, both the uh, medical officer and uh, biomedical engineer, and they the ammo and the aim, and they support any uh, health-related issues that the crew might have and making sure that the crew is healthy and safe up on orbit. And we also have um, the ACE console, which is a uh, accident communication engineer, and they're making sure that all the out media outreach events are um, um, supported from the ground and that everything is set up to make sure that the crew can uh, reach audiences all around the world. Awesome. It's day three. Are they on schedule? Have you been doing your job, Jerry? <laughs> Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> so the, the crew is doing well. They've uh, basically uh, started getting into the meat of the mission itself. Mm -hmm. And so now they're working today. They worked with the ISS crew to make sure that everything has been handed over, that they've, uh, they're have they all on the same page on how to execute ops on the station. And they also have started preparing a lot of the uh, facilities and equipment on board to support the, the payloads and the media outreach events. And so they're doing well. They did some uh, um, um, test runs of some facilities and, and payloads to make sure that it's good to go, and uh, they're excited to be there. Is that what you're seeing through the monitors, through the data? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think they all have big smiles up there, and we saw that through the welcome ceremony and everything, that we they're did. pretty happy to be up there, and uh, um, they every time we talk to them, they're pretty excited. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jerry, for taking the time to join us and take a little bit of time out of your busy work schedule and those long hours to tell us a little bit about what happens in this room. I'm going to be in here for about an hour every day, so I hope to see you during that time. Uh, thank you. Each of the crew members were able to bring some personal items with them. Peggy has a piece of jewelry that has been with her on every mission, her wedding necklace. John is carrying a toy astronaut from his childhood, a crew member from a Gemini 4 capsule that he built. Ali has with him some sentimental items, including the watch he wore on his wedding day, and Rihanna has her grandmother's favorite earrings. Also with this crew, Axiom Space sent Fisher pens, created by the makers of the original astronaut space pen, used since the Apollo 7 space missions. This next generation Fisher pen will be used by the AX2 crew throughout their time on orbit as they write history. Speaking of, there's so much to look forward to on this mission over the coming days. Tomorrow, Peggy will be supporting the rest of the crew with stellar stem cells research and other payload operations. John will be speaking to two schools, a Porto British School in Portugal and Rathmore National School in Ireland, as well as beginning the MIT skin suit research. Ali is going to be working on the NanoRacks space kite and his space tissue regeneration payload. Rihanna will also be working on the NanoRex space kite and will be starting her DNA nanotherapeutics life science glove box operations. As with everything in space, things are subject to change. But for now, I'm Sonia Gavankar McKay. This brings us to the end of flight day three. For updates throughout the mission and all things Axiom Space and AX2, please visit axiomspace.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>